like had never happened to me before. So many eyes looking at me, not through me. I was glad. I wanted to be seen. I, Jupiter, have come to manage the affairs of mortal men. They delighted in my every word. The effect I had upon them was incredible. Who but the gods can create harmony? And I knew then that I liked this. I liked it a lot. I really, really want to do it again. Go forward, and may we meet again! And that's how it was. I came up with a plan on the fly. I made up some words. I saved the show. And, and the I... queen discovered what you had been doing. Yeah. That wasn't part of the plan. You mean you weren't going to tell her? At Charmian. Of course I was. Sooner or later. I am loyal. I will always be loyal. I hope so. But how, how could I pass upon the opportunity to feel like that? How could anyone? I... I am content with my duties. <laughs> sure, Sadiki. You must love announcing guests all day. The Queen trusts me. I would never take that for granted. I am sure she won't let you out of her sight again. Actually, she wants me to go back. To that theater. To those people. Hmm. You don't look very pleased. As she told me herself, it won't be for the sake of art. Sure, from now on, you will report to me every word that Octavia says. She knows things about her government and her brother. The closer you work with her, the more she'll confide in you. And any detail, no matter how small, could be valuable to us. Yes, my lady. Do this, and I may yet overlook your lapse in judgment. Hmm. And who knows? We may one day have need of a uh, friend in such high places. One who'll do whatever we ask in return for keeping their secrets. The most effective weapon of them all is information. You've got off more than lightly. To spy for the Queen is a great honor. I know. Oh, I know. Again, you don't look pleased. I can follow orders, Sadiki. And you can keep your opinions to yourself. Mia, you were amazing. Oh, well, so are you. Rusty Quill presents Cry Havoc. Ask questions later. Episode 9. Kidnap. Bad he died in the war. You! Quintus! Scrolls! Octavia! Chair! Desk! Are we going to keep naming things in the room, or was there something you needed? You put up scrolls telling people about auditions for the new play! Oh, that! Yes, I did. Quintus! Pot plant! <sighs> you know, you started this game, but you're not very good at it. Listen, we don't have a new play. You said you had something on the go. It's a work in progress! Well, progress it more quickly. After the Crown Jewels, the box office is red hot. If we don't feed the public's hunger for theatre, someone else will. But I hardly have a story yet. 
All I know is that it's about the dread pirate Sextus and his motley crew. Love it. Sounds great. You don't know that. You took the violent death of Julius Caesar and turned it into a popular comedy. I'm sure you can do the same thing again with a bunch of pirates. Well, maybe I can. But when do you need it finished? This afternoon would be nice. What? All right, tomorrow. But you're twisting my arm. I've only got a few scenes. Can't we stage an old one to give me more time? The public wants you, Octavia. Every actor in the land wants to work with you too. Just look at these names. I've never heard of them. Raw, untapped talent. You mean cheap? If we're lucky, they won't even have agents. Takes so much less effort. Wait a mo. Is that Mark Antony's son? Antilus? He's not auditioning, is he? Mm? Oh, yes. See, even the elite want to get in on the act. But we don't want him. He's so wet. And very well connected. We'll stick him in the background. Fifth pirate on the left. He won't do any harm. Quintus, where's our integrity? More to the point, where's our script? How am I meant to be a star performer and star director if my star writer won't provide me with a script? You can't do this to me. I cannot allow your writer's block to keep me... I mean us... From success. Play on my desk Ugh. by tomorrow. Caesar, the other night you led me to believe that you and your colleague wish to negotiate in good faith. We absolutely do, uh, don't we, Mark? Speak for yourself. I'm here for the food. Pass the grapes. If your stomach is all you care about, then how about pomegranates? Where? Egypt. Tons of big juicy pomegranates could be yours every week if you'd concede me some land in Cyrene. Ah, no, no. That's why I have my summer house. You'd prioritize a summer house over food for your people. It was a fixer-upper. I poured a lot of labour into that house. We may be wandering from the point. I have to say, if there's been a point, then I haven't heard it. Mother, what are you doing? Go away. I'm watering the plants. But these are very sensitive negotiations. Are they? She says something sensible, Mark yells at her, and you just sort of fold up in the middle. Mother. Why don't you discuss anything useful, like the pirates, for instance? Good point, Atia. I hear Sextus Pompey and his pirate force are threatening your shores and creeping ever closer. Nothing we can't deal with. The reputation of our navy is unsurpassed. We could wipe out the pirates for you in return for Judea and bits of Antioch. I assure you that Rome can handle a pirate force of any size. (laughs) If you handle the pirates the same way you've handled these negotiations, I expect the city will be overrun in a matter of hours. Mother, could you not? Look, I've got an idea. I say we break early for lunch. Who's with me? Ah. Did someone say lunch? Ooh, a buffet. Don't mind if I do. Stress eating again, is it? Don't complain about your figure the next time they chisel a statue of you. Piss off, mother. Can't I get through a single morning with the Queen of Egypt without my whole family interrupting us? Quintus is driving me up the wall about my new play and I just needed to get away from the work, you know? No, I don't know. I have never once got away from work and I don't intend to start now. Mm. So could you leave us a alone? Chill out and eat some bread, Gaius. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's better. Good morning, Your Majesty. Have I ever said how much I love your eyeliner? Not yet. Very bold. Very striking. How annoyed would you be if I borrowed the look? Very. Don't do that. Mm. Oi, Gaius. Do you have any peacock? All I can see here is ham. Maybe that's because we're somewhat low on food right now. Well, give me Judea and you won't be. Unless the pirates get you first. Oh, yes, pirates. Do we have any hot gossip on that? I need inspiration. Hot Gossip? Yeah, come on. What have those sexy, dastardly rogues been up to lately? Pirates aren't sexy, Octavia. They're reckless, dangerous and vulgar. Yeah, that's hot. Right, guys? Absolutely. I've known a few pirates in my time. When did my dining room become a bacchanal? Can we please get on with some important political discussion without being constantly interrupted? Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Lipidus, what time do you call this? Uh, Lunchtime, I think. (laughs) You were meant to be here hours ago. I do apologise about this, Your Majesty. I hadn't noticed he was missing. Hello, Mark. Watcher, mate. Here's a plate. 
Right, what do we got here? Gentlemen, please! I can see why Rome scarcely has a leg to stand on. You can't even manage your own household. Well, it's a big spread here. It's called sharing the wealth. If you'd ever heard of it, maybe you wouldn't be so tight-fisted. <laughs> what? Oh, don't listen to him. He's like this with everyone. Now, about those pirates... Octavia, could you please just... Hey, do we have any honey? Here you are. Oi, don't scoff all of it. Sorry, Atria. Uh, can we please focus on the job? You know, this lunch seems busier than it normally does. Or is it just me? Huh? Mm. <laughs> this is a remarkable way to run a country. Okay, that's enough. Can everyone who isn't trying to negotiate vital matters of diplomacy go away so that we can get on with some work? Octavia out, mother out. Mm. This is what happens when you don't neglect your children properly in their youth. They take on airs. Out! Come on, mother. Let's leave little Gaius to his little games. Mm, I know, and I'm not wanted. Yes, so do I. Sit down. Oh, yes. Sorry. Right. Finally. Mark, Lepidus, your majesty. Uh, Your majesty? Where is she? Over here by the buffet. We're having lunch, aren't we? Uh... So, Mother, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Shopping. My favourite vendor has a new collection of erotic vases. Oh, talk about quality. The most exquisite genitals ever painted. I suppose I'll head back to the theatre. We're auditioning for the new play I haven't written yet. You'll get there, my dear. Thanks, Mom. To the theatre, I mean. Oh, right. Well, thanks anyway. See you later. Right then, to the market. If I don't see at least one depiction of Proserpina going at it with Pluto, I shall take my business elsewhere. Oi, watch it. Begging your pardon, ma'am. I'm just a humble traveller of no particular importance. Pay me no attention. I hadn't planned to pay you any attention whatsoever. But now that we are acquainted, could you point me and my friend here to the, uh, what is it? Theatre of Pompey. Oh, are you auditioning? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Octavia hasn't written it yet. I expect you'll have to improvise. Octavia, you say? Still, you're certainly dressed for it, aren't you? Under those big cloaks. Eh? Oh. Uh... If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were actual pirates. <laughs> anyway, she went down there. You might just catch her. Oh, we will. Thank you kindly. Good luck. Well then, shipmates. Shall we? After you, matey. I think this job could go very nicely. Yes, these are fine for the moment. At least they'll have something to audition with. If you gave me a few more days, I could make them better than fine. I don't need better than fine, Octavia. I need in existence, which these pages are. Now, come along. We have hopefuls waiting. Octavia! Oh, hey! Mia! I'll catch you up. Well, don't be long. And she has to audition like the rest. No, she doesn't. Quick, piss off. Charmed. Mia! Are you here for auditions? Auditions? What auditions? Are you okay? Yes, sorry. I've got a few things going around in my head, that's all. You and me both. I mean, physically, I'm fine. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, though? No, not a bit. What's wrong? This play isn't ready. I had to bang out a few scenes this morning, and they're mediocre. I am mediocre. You're not mediocre. They're so superficial. Everyone will realise I'm a hack. Maybe I am. You're not a hack. I should go back to being a hand model for the muralist. Octavia, stop it. You are talented. You are brilliant. And you have no right to be treating yourself like this. Understand? Mia, you're touching me. What? Oh, uh, sorry. No, no, don't worry. Just needed to grab you. Stop you talking. Yeah, yes. And, um, I enjoyed being in your first play. Like... A lot. I hope I can win a part in this one, too. Win a part? 
You've got one. Really? Mia, you light up the stage. I wanted to tell you how brilliant you were, but you vanished before I could. Yeah, I, uh, saw someone I knew. Well, I hope they showered you in compliments. They said I had potential. More than that. I saw you on that stage. You love it. You're a natural. You're star material. I am? Mia, just talking with you now makes me feel like I can do this. You're a star. And you're my star. I mean, our star. The company star. You mean... Lead role, for sure. No audition required. It's yours. <sighs> I've never been a star before. It's easy. Just be you. You'll have lots more lines, obviously. You'd have to help me with them. Yes. Lots of rehearsal time together. Long nights. Close quarters. Octavia! Ah! Auditions, now! Yes! Coming! I guess I'll see you at rehearsal tomorrow. Actually, couldn't I hang around with you? Nearby? Help out with... anything? I I'm dying for some liquid courage to get me through these auditions. Sorry? Wine. Could you? There's a place over there. Tell them to put it on my tab. Oh, sure. Right away. Won't be long. Nor will I. Nor will I. Pull yourself together. <laughs> and stab. I die! Thank you. Oh no, uh, thank you for that display. I'd say that's a uh, maybe. What is happening? Where's our usual crop of actors with actual talent? Gone home to prepare against impending piracy. We're getting the ones with nothing to live for but the stage. You're telling me she lives only for the stage? The one we just saw vocalise a stabbing? Yes, it turns out having other things to live for might actually improve one's craft. Uh. Next! <sighs> Mia can't return quickly enough with that wine. Octavia! It's me! Oh, Antilus. Hello. Great to see you. I can't believe I'm here doing this. It's like a dream come true. And what made you want to throw your laurels into the ring? Well, I'm a huge fan. I've seen all your productions. I even keep them on Blu-ray. Blu-ray? A servant from Namidia. He memorises all your plays and performs them for me when I'm bored. Oh! We ought to monetize that. But then I saw the crown jewels. That was something else. I just knew I had to try, to give my acting debut, doing your words, Octavia. You're amazing. Oh, well, um, thank you. Let's see what you've got for us. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Tremble in fear before me, all who look upon my visage, for I am the dread pirate Sextus, and your town is forfeit. Now hand over your valuables, please. That wasn't... awful. Wasn't it? Okay, dear. Let's run it again. Uh, but this time, uh, brutal. Uh, fierce. And lose the please. Uh, pirates aren't polite about pillaging towns. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Now try again and uh, scare me. Okay. <clears throat> Tremble in fear before me, all who look upon my visage, for I am No, the... no, 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 no! This is the dread pirate Sextus! Look at him funny and he'll pop out your eyeballs and eat them like grapes! Is there no one around here who knows how to be a pirate? Well, actually, I reckon we might be the pirates you're looking for. Ah, yeah, we've been practicing for a long time. Yes! You! In the amazing costumes! Let's see what you can do! You heard the woman's shipmate. No, I sure did, matey. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow! Yes! This is exactly the energy we've been looking for. Um, Octavia? I love to see an actor take initiative. Octavia? Although, though I do have notes. Namely, this rope is a little Octavia, I think these may be actual pirates. That's right, lad. And unless you want to join her, you'll stay right where you are. Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Pirate, sir. You can't take Octavia. She's not just a lady. She's an artist. If you don't put her down at once, then I'll... <coughs> Who's the kid, then? Antilus, a son of Mark Antony, the triumvir of Rome, uh, Mr. Pirate, sir. <coughs> what do you know? A bonus hostage. I'll carry this one. 
Now don't follow us, lad, or it'll be so much the worse for these two. Oh, no, sir. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, well, that's one way to win a part. Octavia, they only had red. I hope that's okay. Um, where's Octavia? Oh, is it me, gents? Or are these negotiations a massive drag? Each day I find myself more exhausted. You skipped most of it. And you didn't even tell me so I could bunk off too. Look, you two... Negotiations are hard, but trust me, we are making progress. Yeah? Oh, well, things aren't getting any worse. Great. Yes. I'd say as long as we hold on... The tide will definitely turn in our favour any moment now. I bet there's a news for Caesar. Your sister's been kidnapped by pirates. What? Ouch. Tough break. But hey, at least you can't write any more jokes about you. I bet there's a news for Mark Antony too. Oh, nuts. Right, take their gags out. We can entertain ourselves with hearing how they beg for their lives. At sea, no one can hear them scream. Oh, I'm sure you're trying to be menacing, but it'll take more than a few words to terrify me. Antalus? Yes? I hope you're getting all of this. Getting this? Every moment of this must be committed to memory, because once we're rescued, this is going to make great theatre. I'm sorry. Did you say rescue? I wouldn't say that rescue is a word that's really on the table. In fact, who knows if you'll ever leave this ship intact. Uh, don't you mean alive? There are plenty of ways you might leave my ship alive. But intact is never guaranteed. It's an unpleasant business. But I do have a reputation to uphold. What sort of reputation? I might need an ear. Or an arm or two to make sure people get the point. You see, I'm not just any pirate. I'm the Dread Pirate Sextus. Ask Questions Later is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by David K. Barnes and directed by Amani Zardo. This episode was written by Octavia Bray. It was edited by Lori Ann Davis, Annie Fitch, Catherine Seaton and Catherine Renella with scoring by Sam Jones. Today's episode features Sarah Lambie, Benjamin Garrison, Lara Sawalha, Harry Roebuck, Ellie Dickens, Aaron Lewis Cadogan, Kazim Tosin Amore, Andrew Seacon, Ryan Hopevere Anderson, and Sarah Aga. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is produced by Natalie Winter, Catherine Lindemann, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at The Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening.